It's Mike from Iron Horse Overland, and I just wanted to come to uh, back to you on YouTube for and uh, talk about uh, lithium batteries, uh, particularly our Battleborn GC3 270 amp hour battery. Um, but earlier we were running a Battleborn batteries uh, heated 100 amp hour battery, but um, when we got our um, our Starlink uh, high performance, it just killed that battery because we would forget to uh, turn it off at night, and then it'd run all night and you know flatten the battery. No damage to the battery, which is awesome because the uh, the um, on board on on board uh, battery management system keeps it from getting too low. It shuts it down before there's any damage. But that that became a problem. Um, our the high Starlink high performance pulls about 15 amps an hour, and uh, they don't make a uh, 12 volt conversion kit for it so you're running through an inverter and it's just taking up a lot of power so we um, got a Battleborn batteries um, GC, GC3 270 amp hour uh, battery it is a very large battery I thought about getting two 100 amp but it, uh, you know, for the same weight that I'd be gaining, maybe a little bit more for the GC3, I, I'm gaining 70 more amp hours from the GC3. Um, and since then, it's been awesome. I mean, yes, we still forget to turn off the Starlink, but we probably have... We probably lose about 100 amp hours from running the Starlink all night long. And with the 270 amp hour battery, it really uh, doesn't hurt us. I don't, you know, you can do it the way we did it, but it's a pretty big battery. And I'm going to show you what, how, we, how I installed it in there with the help of Mike from M&J Automotive. Um, great people, but, um, it's great battery. I'm going to talk about some of the features and some of the, uh, specifics about the battery. Um, but we all know the difference between lead acid or AGM and, uh, in, um, and lithium ion. The, these Battleborn batteries are a fifth of the weight. They charge five times faster. 10 times longer lifespan and two to three times more power. They're maintenance free, 100% uh, depth of discharge and 10 year warranty heated options. We got the heated one, but the cool thing was this battery. I can charge add up to 135 amps an hour. And the way you figure that out is if you have a 100 amp hour battery, then you can you can charge up to 50 amps at an hour. I have 270, so that's 100 and half of 70 is 35. These batteries have been outstanding. Now I'm going to preface all everything I'm saying is, and everybody that knows me knows that I'm affiliated with uh, Battleborn Batteries. We've had a, um, a relationship for a while. I didn't pay for these batteries, but I can tell you this, they're worth every penny. Um, our Battleborn Batteries have taken us everywhere in the continental United States other than Hawaii. Um, Every province you can drive in, in Canada, all the way up to Tuktoyuk Tuk in the Arctic, uh, Arctic Ocean. It's taken us through 27 of the 31 uh, states in Mexico, including Baja. 
and um, every country in South America all the way down as far south as you can drive in Central America, which is Yavisa, Panama. And we've been running Battleborn batteries for, I don't know, going on three years now and not as not one complaint we use our stuff hard um and never a problem never any issues anytime i had a question i just called uh customer service up and probably the best customer service i've ever seen um yeah are they more expensive than batteries from say Amazon you could get lithium batteries for a lot cheaper yeah they are but you don't get the years of uh, of R&D that goes into Battleborn batteries you don't get the awesome um, customer service that you get from Battleborn batteries um, I don't believe you get uh, you don't get a 10 year warranty. Yeah, I mean, I have never this is even if we wouldn't have become affiliated with uh, Battleborn batteries, I would have bought them because I do when I buy something uh, like this because I am not a 12 volt guru by any means. I do my research. So, um, yeah. So we're going to go out to the truck and um, I'll talk about different features on the battery and show you how we mounted it and tell you how some things are going to change in the mounting of it in the near future. So anyways. All right, here we are back uh, in the beautiful state of Florida after Hurricane Milton. Uh, a lot of cleanup going on around here, uh, but let's get back to it. All right, here is our Battleborn Batteries GC3 270 amp hour battery. Um, again, it's 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 a very big battery, but for the power that I get and the fact that we live full time on the road. I think it's uh, it, it, it works for us very well. Um, some of the cool features about this battery is you already have mounting solutions on the on both sides of the battery. And what we have done is if you look right here, we have used the, the uh, mounting po uh, mounting pieces and made mounts to go on that and then down on our, our goose gear boards on both sides of the battery. So this thing's held down by uh, at four different points down to the goose gear. And, um, and, and the other thing I like is what on most regular batteries, when you, you're, put, you're attaching hots to it, um, you have one hot ground and have you have one hot pole and one negative pole. Well, not that not true on this battery. This battery, each your hot's here and your 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 ground is over here. You have three different connection points on each of these. So it makes it super easy to not overcrowd your, your poles. I don't use them that way. I run everything through bus bars. So everything goes to a bus bar and a single wire comes up here. Same thing with my grounds and it works out awesome. But all that's underneath here. Um, the, the other cool thing about these batteries is they're not made with, uh, with rectangular cells. They're made with cylindrical cells they have one, one amp hour cylindrical cells and 
they have they're in they're put in like pods and there's x amount of pods in each of these batteries and they're all connected together and to the bms and the cool thing about the way they do it is say you lose one of those cells well in most most of the batteries if you lose a cell your whole battery goes down not the case with these if you lose one cell or one pod you still have the rest of the battery until you can get so your trip's not over because you have no battery you'll still have you know the remaining cells and remaining pods um, and then when you get back you just contact Battleborn and again 10 year warranty they're gonna uh, they're gonna take care of you. Um, that, like I said, I can't say so. Not they can't say enough nice things about the people at Battleborn. Um, you know, yeah, they're just great people, man. Um, but so far, this battery has been awesome. Um, operating voltage is 12.8 charging voltage is from 14.4 to 14.6 volts max continuous current 300 amps max surge current 500 amps for 30 seconds and a half second surge for larger loads so um, this ba these batteries will do everything you need to do now, a lot of people say uh, lithium batteries are, are really expensive, especially good lithium batteries. Yeah, they are expensive, but if you can, save your money up and get a good lithium battery. Don't, don't cheap out because I, I believe in cry once, uh, buy once, cry once. Um, I don't want to be out in the middle of nowhere like when I was running uh, AGM batteries I went through probably in, in, I don't know, a year and a half, I went through like four AGM batteries. And I mean, how much did that cost? Plus with an AGM battery, you only get half of what it is. So if you have a hundred amp hour battery, you're getting 50 amps of usable uh, power. Whereas if this is a hundred amp hour battery, you're getting a hundred amp hours of usable power. And if you have a good charging system set up, then you can keep it charged and not worry about it. You got have solar, um, like I have 100 amp hours of solar on the roof and I'm running three Red Arc battery chargers or DC chargers. So I have a 30 uh, BC, or excuse me, a manager 30 up here pushing 30 amps. I have two BCDC 1240s, each pushing 40 amps. So realistically, if I wanted to, and I also have these set up uh, to be switchable when I want them, they don't, they're not on all the time. Um, so realistically, I could be pushing 120 amps to this, which is fine because the charging goes up to 135 amps. Um, Anyways, that's, uh, that's how we installed it. And I, what we're going to have coming in the future is what I think I'm going to do is get a Pelican box. And uh, the one I'm looking at, and you guys, if you, if you want, and you give me your ideas on what, what my plan is, it's the Storm uh, M IM2950. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this battery inside the storm case, bolt it into the storm case, bolt the storm case down to the uh, goose gear. I'm going to cut square ports on either side of the storm case, put fans in there, and then... Uh, cut ports for the wire for the wiring to get in here into the box and then grommet them in and then that way when when we're at you know I want to show somebody the battery I just open the box there it is when I'm 
traveling, I close it. Um, I'll also put a temperature sensor in here that goes through my Red Arc uh, Red Vision. And uh, if it gets too hot, I just turn the fans on using my Red Arc. And it's perfect. And the battery's not getting messed up because we're setting stuff on top of it. I mean, you notice we have a lot of stuff because this is home. We have no house. We have nothing. So everything we have, we put in this truck or in our trailer. But that's it. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Um, sorry I haven't been on in a while. Um, we've been traveling and, um, yeah, I was just slacking. Won't be happening. You're going to see more uh, of videos like this. If this is the type of video you like, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any uh, any comments about my idea with the the storm case let me know um it, it right now it's just it's in the theory stages so all right everybody take care and we'll talk at you later